people here with Crafty Mama. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit the, um, the like and the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do I upload a video. Um, right now we are doing a whole Canva series on my channel right now. Um, I'm basically just strictly in Canva designing a bunch of different things so that you guys can see and learn. Um, once I run out of once I run out of ideas of things to design in Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start doing other videos. Um, like I have a couple requests on the cinch machine and binding journals. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on that. But um, for right now, we're just doing the, the Canva tutorials because I wanna make sure everybody, you know, learns the program because it's, it's, I just think it's a really, really good program. Um, and you have to design it, you know, first before, like you have to design the journal before you can bind it. So once you kind of master all your designs and techniques and everything within Canva, we'll move along to um, to where I show you guys how to um, craft once you've made your design. Um, so what we're going to do today is a logo. I've gotten a couple requests on logos in Canva. I know a lot of graphic designers don't like to use Canva, um, but it is very, very doable. Um, I made this logo here in Canva with images, or I'm sorry, with fonts that were uploaded, um, which you are able to do in the free version. So you can very, very well create this same logo that I've created here with the free version of Canva. You know, some people pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for logos, and you can do it yourself um, in Canva. So... That's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. Okay, so for starters, we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, when creating logos, in order for them to be able to be used in other places, you wanna make sure that your dimensions are right with logos. It's actually very important. So if you ever wanna take your logo and maybe put it on a shirt or a bag or a banner or anything like that, you want your file to be able to be compatible and you want the resolution to be clear enough. So if you blow it up and put it on a banner or a tablecloth, it won't get fuzzy and distorted. Um, so with logos, you you really want to make sure your pixels are right. Um, graphic designers or I've, I've, I took a class with a one on one class with a graphic designer. Um, she's, uh, got a bachelor's degree in it. She's been in the industry for 11 years. Um, and I paid for a one-on-one -on -one class with her and she advised me that all of her logo designs are 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So I'm going to go to my homepage. Um, and this is probably what your desktop looks like. Um, when you log in, you're going to create a design. You're going to go to custom dimensions and you're going to make sure this says pixels and you're going to do 3000 by 3000. That's going to give you a very clear, high quality logo that will be easy to work with. If you are trying to, like I said, do tablecloths or banners or t-shirts or whatever. The, this dimension will, it, it'll be easy to work with. All right, so we have our blank canvas here. And as you can see up here, it is 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Okay, um, and we are going to do this from scratch as I always do. I'm gonna make this canvas black. Now that logo that I did was one that I made up. I don't know if there's a company called Beauty by Nikki. so. I'm just going to recreate that same one and show you how I did it. So I'm going to start with the blank canvas here. Um, and you're going to go to your text and you're going to add a heading. Now, the font, let me make this bigger so we can see it. Um, I don't know if you remember in my first video, I think when I made the debit card style business card, I was on whatthefont.com and I actually saw this package here. And I said I wanted to go back and purchase it. I did. 
Um, so this is a font that I uploaded. I went to whatthefont.com and I bought this um, font here. I'm sure you can go to like thefont.com and if you wanted to find something that was free, you absolutely can. Now, I absolutely love this um, font combination. It's clean, it's professional, it's timeless. Um, it cost about 15 to $20 for both of these, so $10 a piece. Um, so $20 to make your own logo versus spending $200 for somebody to make it for you. And then once you buy it, you can make changes to it. So if you decide, like you make your logo in black, white, and pink, and you decide you want to change your brand colors to red, white, and blue, you just come in Canva and change your colors yourself instead of paying a graphic designer to do it for you all over again. Um, so that's why I kind of, I wanted to do my own logo and show you how you can do your own logo. But this is the combination, the font combination that I chose. And like I said, I got it from whatthefont.com. So the cursive writing is going to be the, it's called Lux, L A space L-U-X-E-S. And that's, um, you can just go in there and search that. But the cursive font, <clears throat> which is this one, um, now because I, it was three different parts, no, I'm sorry, it was four different parts to this um, logo. I wanted that T, I don't know if you remember it, but the, let me see if I can pull it back up here so I can just reference it for you guys. Okay, so this what is four different parts and I just layered them. So I wanted this T to stand out. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I got the T to be a different color, um, how I got it to be um, capital while all of this was lowercase. Okay, so the first part is the B-E-A-U, capital B-E-A-U. Uh -oh. There we go. Capital B E A U. That's the first part. Now let's make this bigger so we can see it. It's basically just going to be four separate parts that you're layering. You're going to go back to your text box. You're going to get a heading and you're going to make a capital T in the same font. Make this bigger so we can see it. Okay, now you got your T and you're gonna place it next to it. And we're going to turn this pink. Then you're gonna go back to your heading and you're gonna get your lowercase Y. Let's make this bigger so we can see it and change it to the same font that we've been using. Okay, and now here is your Y. So here's the first three parts. Now, you want this B-E-A-U and you want the Y to be the same size font. So this one is 857, so we wanna make sure this one is 857. The only one that's going to be bigger and stand out is going to be the T. That actually looks too big. Right now, I'm just trying to line everything up. Until it looks the way I need it to look.
Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, because this is still three separate pieces, I want this to be one piece so I can make it as, you know, adjust the size as I need it to. So I'm just gonna highlight all of it and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group it so that it all becomes one piece now. Okay, so now it's one piece. I think I need to make the T a little bit smaller, just a touch. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna ungroup it, and then I'm gonna um, select just the T and make the T a little bit smaller. And now we're gonna group it back together and make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Looks pretty close. All right, so there's, there's the first part. Um, so now we're going to go in and we're going to add the second part, which was by Nikki right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this. You're going to add a heading. Make this bigger so we can see it. And we're going to put by Nikki. And then we're going to go to our font and we're going to change it to this one, which was the one that came with it. And then you're just gonna place it in there until it looks how you want it to look. And I think that looks pretty good. So you're gonna select all of it and then you're gonna group it and now it's one big piece. So you can center it and line it up the way you need it to. All right, and there you go. There, there's your um, your logo. Now, if you want to have different colors, maybe like swap the colors, make the background white, which is what I did, you know, um, over here. All you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this. You've already done all the hard work. You're going to duplicate this. You're going to ungroup this, okay? You're going to turn your background white. You're going to select your text. And you're going to turn it black. Make sure you get all your pieces. And that's it. And then regroup it. That's all you're going to do. Once you've made the first one, Doing the second one is just a matter of changing the colors, ungrouping it, changing the colors. You can even change the color of the T if you wanted to. If your colors are red, white, and black, you can make this red. That red is really pretty. Okay, and then you just group it back to make one piece. Now, when you go to download it, um, you would just go to up here to publish. You're going to download. And you're going to download it as a PNG file. So if, um, and you would download both of them. You would download the PNG file. And if you want the one with the black background and the one with the white background, you just download it like this. Now to get a transparent background, we're going to add a new page. I'm sorry, you're gonna duplicate. You're gonna duplicate the page. And if you wanna make, if you wanna have three different files, one with a black background, one with a white background, and one with a transparent background, and this could be the one that you use, the one that you have a transparent background with is gonna be the one you're gonna use for like your marketing material. Um, so you're gonna download it with a transparent background so that you can put it on your business cards and your flyers. Um, and your t-shirts, the transparent background is going to be, the file with the transparent background is gonna be the one you're gonna wanna work with when you're making your marketing material. Um, 
the ones where you have the white background and the black background is going to be the ones that you upload like to your Facebook page or you know you, your social media. Um, you don't want to upload onto your social media a transparent background because it's just going to have like that grid looking thing. Um, so the, the colored backgrounds is going to be for your social media. And then the transparent background is going to be what you're going to work with to make your marketing material that you're going to actually have printed out. And then to download that with the transparent background, you're just going to duplicate it. So let's say you wanted the black and the red. Um, you're just going to duplicate this page. You're going to go to publish. You're going to go to download. You're going to select transparent background. You're going to select your page and you're only going to select page three, which is this page right here. Okay, so that means you're going to download this file as a PNG file with the transparent background, which means when you, you know, upload it, let's say you're going to upload it to Cricut to put it on a t-shirt. When you upload it to Cricut, it's gonna have the, that transparent background. So it's gonna look like the grid behind your letters. So when you when you upload this to Cricut with the transparent background, you, you're not even gonna have to remove the background. It's automatically going to upload with no background. It makes it so easy to work with if you just do the work here. So when you go to try to put it on your t-shirts, it, it's just super easy. All you're doing is downloading it to your computer uploading it to your Cricut Design Space. You don't have to crop out any backgrounds or anything like that. It's already done for you, okay? You select your transparent background, select page three, and then you download. Save it however you wanna save it to your computer and upload it to your Cricut Design Space or Silhouette or whatever it is that you're using. Okay, but that is how you do that. If you guys have any questions on anything I didn't cover in this video, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know. If you have any other um, requests on videos, again, let me know and I'll try to get that out for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope everybody's being safe. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, I truly appreciate it. Um, and I hope you come back to my channel. Bye guys.